Welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time, my name is Masika Ifuru. Today I am here to do a very quick comparison on the new Smashbox Photo Finish Set and Refresh Powder. And I am going to be comparing this Smashbox Set and Powder to the Becca Set and Refresh Powder. So if you would like to see how both of these same powders compare to each other, definitely stick around with me. I'm using the Givenchy Tint Couture Everwear Foundation. I will leave my full review on this foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. The Becca Set and Refresh Powder. If you're new to my channel, I also reviewed this set and powder. I'll leave a link in my information button at the top. And with the, the Becca Set and Refresh Powder, I am in the shade Golden Bronze. And the Smashbox Photo Finish Set and Refresh Powder, I'm in the shade O2. This is what the packaging looks like from the Smashbox setting powder. It looks like the camera lens at the top. And then you would press you would press this button right here and open. And this is what it's looking like. And when you turn, when you turn it, oops, you see? You turn it, the powder comes out. Other than that, it doesn't come out. And I just love that idea that you have to twist in order to release this setting powder. And this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna go on the left side of the face with my Becca Set and Refresh Powder. This is the side with the Becca Set and Refresh Powder. It's just really, really seamless as it's one of my absolute favorites. And I'm gonna go on the right side with my new Smashbox Photo Refresh Set and Powder. And this one is a bit yellow as the Becca is a bit brown. But nevertheless, it doesn't leave any coloration as you see under the eyes, it's just setting seamless. This is the side with the Smashbox Photo Finish. And this is the side with the Becca. I, I, I honestly, if I had to look and tell, I can't tell the difference. They're actually both seamless, both sides set down lovely. So I am gonna finish up with the rest of my makeup off camera. As you see, everything applied, beautiful. Everything set lovely with these two setting powders. On the left side of my face, you see I use the Becca Set and Refresh Powder and it just set everything beautiful. On the right side, I use my new Smashbox Setting Powder and it also set beautiful. I'm just gonna zoom you in a bit so you can see the difference. This is the side with the Smashbox and this is the side with the Becca Set and Refresh. And this is how it's looking just seamless. 
once more this is the side with the smashbox and it's also seamless you saw the foundation i used today wasn't at all a matte foundation but it did set it down and it looks wonderful on my skin on this hot day so I mean it is beautiful it is it sets lovely like I said before I honestly can't really tell the difference right now oh, for an application I purchased this new Smashbox setting powder from Ulta as this is an Ulta exclusive for $39 plus tax and the Becca set and refresh powder I purchased from Sephora for $39 plus tax so they're both exactly the same price and in my opinion they're one of the same I use my Becca set and refresh usually for touch-ups if I get really oily and it brings my makeup back seamlessly I haven't tried that yet with the Smashbox however I however i am looking forward to and i do believe as right now i'm a bit greasy right here so i am gonna use my smashbox just for touch-ups today to see if i can use this for touch-ups and i just i just love this part of this setting powder i really love this that when you turn is the only how to get the setting powder out you have to turn it like i really love that about this photo finish setting powder as it is gonna keep everything in the pan it's gonna keep my makeup a lot cleaner <laughs> as the setting powders usually fall all over the place when you open them you don't have to worry about that with this one so I do love that And as you see, it is taking all the oils away, so it is just as good, like I said, as the Becca. Yes, I do use the Becca for touch-ups as well, as set my makeup, and both sides set down lovely. Both sides did get oily the same way as I do get really, really oily, so I can't say one controls the oils more than the other as they're one of the same they're both the same price they're both seamless and if there's anything at all that i did not mention about these two beautiful setting powders be sure to leave your question in the comment section and i will be more than happy to respond however if you are new to my channel be sure to click on my picture right here and subscribe to my channel as I do look forward to seeing you in all of my videos. I do hope this video was helpful. Thank you.